What if the next leap in electric vehicle efficiency doesn't come from bigger batteries, but from something as old school as a gear change? Hey everyone, today we're diving into a partnership that could quietly redefine how efficient an EV can be. Aptera, the ultralight solar electric pioneer, has joined forces with a Canadian engineering firm called Inmotive. And even if you never heard that name before, what they're doing might just shake up the EV world. When I first heard this news, I thought, wait, EVs and transmissions? Isn't that technology outdated? After all, electric motors give instant torque from zero RPM, so why would they ever need multiple gears? That's what I believed until I looked deeper. Turns out, even electric motors have an efficiency curve. They perform best within certain RPM ranges, and pushing them outside that window wastes energy. That's where Emotive steps in, with something ingenious, a two-speed transmission, specifically designed for EVs. Let's rewind for a second. Gas engines need transmissions because their torque band is narrow. Electric motors, by contrast, deliver torque instantly, but they still face limits at high RPMs. Once you exceed those, efficiency drops fast. Early EV engineers knew this. In fact, the very first Tesla Roadster was built with a two-speed gearbox. The idea was brilliant until the motor's torque literally shredded the gears. Tesla simplified to a single speed reduction drive, sacrificing a bit of top end speed for reliability. Ever since, most EVs from family crossovers to super sedans have followed that pattern. Only a handful of vehicles like the Porsche Taycan and the Audi e-tron GT dare to bring multi-speed gearboxes back. But those are complex, heavy, and expensive. So when Emotive claimed they cracked a simpler, lighter, quieter solution, I had to see it. Imagine taking a normal single-speed EV drivetrain and adding a compact, shape-shifting gear system right where the differential sits. That's Emotive's in-gear technology. Instead of using multiple clutches or planetary gears, it relies on a morphing sprocket and chain mechanism. When the system shifts from low to high gear, parts of the sprocket literally change diameter, guided by precise mechanical segments. The result? A gear shift that completes in about 30 milliseconds faster than a human blink, while maintaining continuous torque to the wheels. There's no pause, no jolt, no loss of power delivery. The shift happens so smoothly that passengers might never notice. Here's where it gets exciting. According to Emotive's testing, range increases by up to 15%, acceleration improves by around 20%, top speed rises by as much as 20%, and compared to traditional multi-gear setups, the cost could be as low as $150 per vehicle. For Aptera, an already hyper-efficient EV, those percentages translate into huge real-world gains. A 15% boost could extend a 400-mile range to nearly 460 miles. That's like getting a bigger battery for free. What fascinates me most is how it works. During each shift, only the sprocket segments not under load actually move. That reduces friction and wear dramatically. The system uses reverse torque impulses from the motor to cancel any mechanical jerk, making the transition practically invisible. It's one of those designs that feels like science fiction, the kind of mechanical elegance that makes engineers grin. A chain that changes shape in real time while spinning thousands of revolutions per minute and still lasts through durability tests, incredible. Sure, it sounds complicated, but then again, so did internal combustion engines once upon a time. If pistons can explode up and down 10,000 times per minute for hundreds of thousands of miles, a precision chain mechanism doesn't seem far-fetched. Emotive isn't a big automaker. It's a small Toronto-based startup founded in 2010. Around 37 employees, roughly $80 million raised small but serious. They've already partnered with Suzuki, co-developing a two-speed EV drivetrain announced in 2023. So far, there's no production vehicle on the road using in-gear, but that's exactly why Aptera's involvement matters. Aptera could become the real-world proving ground this technology needs. From a business angle, this partnership is smart on both sides. For Aptera, it aligns with their mission. Maximum range from minimal energy. For Emotive, it's the chance to validate their technology on a futuristic, lightweight platform that amplifies every gain in efficiency. 
The announcement called this the beginning of a promising relationship to integrate in-gear into Aptera's future vehicles. Now, that wording leaves room for interpretation. Do they mean future generation Apteras beyond the current production model or the next pre-production? Prototypes like Gemini or Artemis? We don't yet know. But my guess? Aptera will likely test the in-gear system in the limited batch first, gathering data before any large-scale rollout. Of course, with any new mechanical innovation, skepticism is healthy. Can this system withstand years of real-world driving heat, vibration, wear, and dust? Will it stay quiet over time? And perhaps most importantly, can it deliver those promised gains without adding maintenance complexity? Emotive says yes. Their accelerated wear tests suggest strong reliability, and they emphasize that the special chain design minimizes noise. But until fleets rack up real mileage, we'll have to wait for proof. Even with those questions, I can't help but be impressed. The brilliance lies in simplicity and cost. If this $150 component can boost range by 10 to 15%, every EV maker will want to copy it. It's a mechanical efficiency multiplier, and efficiency is everything in electric mobility. For Aptera, where every watt counts, it could be the difference between innovative and iconic. Here's where I stand. If integrating in-gear doesn't delay Aptera's production schedule, they should absolutely go for it. Testing new tech in parallel is smart, but if adding this transmission risks pushing deliveries further out, it's better to launch the current model first and refine later. Either way, this partnership marks an important step forward. It proves that EV innovation isn't just about software or batteries, it's about rethinking mechanics too. The future might not just hum quietly on electrons, it might shift gears doing it. So what do you think? Would you trade a little mechanical complexity for a 15% efficiency boost? Could this be the next major upgrade in electric vehicle evolution? Drop your thoughts below, I'd love to hear them. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring what drives the future.